All right, so I picked up a Penta Sata hat for the Raspberry Pi 5. So in this video, we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this. Now, this came with some nice Sata cables that I ordered with it. Uh, so we got power and data here. And there we go. Penta Sata hat compatible with Raspberry Pi 5. And so really nice. We're going to we're going to set this up. We're going to set up a NAS with this later. But this video, we're just going to show what comes in the box. So let's take a look. I believe this is power adapter here. Here we go. Um, adapter for the US. So you slide that on there. There we go. There's our, our power for this thing. Now let's open this up. All right, and we got a bunch of stuff in this box as well. All right, plenty of practical stuff for building our mini NAS. Another SATA cable here. This nice thing to attach to the ends of the discs. Um, we'll see how that fits together when it gets put together in the next video where I actually put this together. And over here, this is the actual thing that I, I wanted. All right, so this connects to your Raspberry Pi, and this is where your discs connect. <clears throat> so you could set, you basically plug this into your Raspberry Pi, discs go in here. Okay, so we have four regular SATA and yeah, eSATA right here. And you, you could, I believe, power this thing either through this adapter right here or through Molex right here. We're, we're gonna go with this one because you know, I, I, I purchased the adapter right here and it, it's probably the right way to go with this. Anyways, Anyways, I'm planning to attach only three discs to this. At least that's the plan. But th there you go. That is the Penta. Oh, wait a minute. I should show this. All right. So it comes with this little ribbon cable. I've not worked out using that yet. And it comes with a bunch of screws and standoffs and stuff. So there you go. Um, Penta. SATA hat for the Raspberry Pi 5. This is the unboxing, just showing you what comes in the box. We are, I had to order the, the, the power adapter and the additional SATA cables separately. That, that, that was separate. Um, yeah, that way with those adapters, you don't have to, you can plug your discs directly in here or you can plug them in with the cables and have them hanging out. I feel like that's a little bit more, uh, um, less fragile and less likely like if you bend the disc it's not going to break one of these connectors just, just my thoughts on that but anyways that's what you get in the box so next video i do on this might not be the next video but the next video i do on this i'm going to be putting this together building a new nas with it so stay tuned for that remember to hit that subscribe button but that's it for today so thanks for watching we'll see you guys on that next video